Yeah, good. Yeah, good morning, and thanks for having us on the show. All right. I suppose <coughs> the, the 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 basic question to ask was why was it changed from an elective conference to once again just uh, moving into a consultative conference? I think it's a it was a very extensive and a long discussion that we had, and uh, as the entity, because we had our last meeting over the weekend, checking our, our state of readiness uh, in terms of uh, our branches and regions. And we made a, a serious analysis and adverse analysis about uh, the political preparedness of our branches and regions in terms of uh, the, 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 electoral, the election part of the, of the conference. And we, we, we then felt in, then in consultation with the officials of the ANC that maybe it's time that we create space and, and, uh, and platform for our structures to engage on political issues and policy issues that will be able to uh, take the youth league forward. Yeah. Some are concerned that there, there appears to be too much factional politics within the mother body, within the ANC, uh, which of course is, is you know, leaking into the Youth League and it's causing a lot of chaos. Do you agree with sentiments like this? It, it could be one of the, of, the, of the problems, but I think it's the nature of, the, of such uh, conferences where you get a contestation amongst uh, individuals in terms of power and everything, and in also in terms of the direction in which the ANC and the Youth League you know, should, should to take. But I think the better part of the, the other problems that we have, yes, the ANC also do have uh, such problems. Yeah. In terms of some of the leaders, and, and, and I think the one, and I know we spoke to uh, the, the Gauteng branch here on the program, in fact, and they were putting their full weight behind Pule Mabe being uh, elected as the Youth League's president. Is it true that he was asked to step down from the league's presidential race before this was actually cancelled? I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know uh, if, if it was done by the officials, but uh, I don't think it's true. I think every member of the Youth League has got uh, an opportunity and a right uh, actually to be, able, to be available to lead the league. Mm. And I think that he also is he's within his rights as a member of the Youth League to stand. And I think it was going to be unfair for him to be told not to stand. But I think we, we need to look at how divisive and, uh, and chaotic the, the conference could have been if we continued with our structures not pre uh, prepared politically. Yeah. In terms of how rules work within a, a leader of the Youth League now, uh, with a leader being elected now in the middle of next year, if that in fact does go ahead, Pule Mabe would be out of the running. He'd be too old for the position now. I'm sure it, it doesn't only apply to him, it applies to all the older uh, comrades who will be turning 35, but uh, effectively he would be. Okay, so effectively yeah. he is out now, so he, he won't be. So perhaps the ploy worked? <laughs> no, I wouldn't say it was a ploy. I think it was an, an extensive discussion. Uh, it was an, an, a, an important discussion that we made to elevate this conference, to create this platform. Because I'm sure you have seen that most, most, of, the, most of the conferences that we've had in the past didn't have much of the engagement in politics and policies. Yeah. And this is a creation of that platform, which is going to create three days of an extensive discussion and also come up with a framework in which the Youth League will be able to reposition itself and take uh, the, the, the ANC forward and even represent young people's aspirations. Do, do you think that this really is a is an admission that efforts to try and rebuild the Youth League have failed up to date and that more is needed? I wouldn't say failed, but I would say that yes, there's more that needs to be actually done. And I think uh, we must not, we uh, could have been that we underestimated the, the, you know, the, the, the rot that we found in the league. And I think uh, up to now, I'm sure we, we, are, we are quite comfortable where we are sitting that the progress we've made could be taken forward and with this uh, consultative conference is going to consolidate that progress that we're making and also making sure that when we come to uh, the elective conference we'll be able to deal with the issues uh, yeah. appropriately. Are you concerned about what's going to happen today because when one reads a couple of reports I've gone through many of the newspapers and many of the the the, the different provincial uh, branches are saying they don't care what the mother body has said elections are going to go ahead. They are going to vote for a leader for the ANC Youth League and that's going to happen and chaos may result thereof. What measures have you got in place to ensure that chaos doesn't result and you know, what is the response to this? I think it's, it's, it's okay for, for, for people to express their disappointment but equally there are people who are very excited about the opportunity that we have created in terms of the consultative conference to engage in more content and political uh, issues that we, uh, the league needs to engage in. And uh, we have taken no, no particular uh, effort to 
to, 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 to actually protect the, the conference. We have spoken yesterday with the SG and the DSG and all the regional leaders from uh, different uh, parts of the province and the part of the country to make sure that uh, there is a understanding that this conference needs to be given space and time so that we are able to reposition the youth league uh, going forward properly. Mm. There have been many instances before where chaos has broken out at, at youth league conferences. So don't you think it would be a good idea to ensure that something is put in place in case something like this happens? Because it seems that there's a lot of dissent within the, within the ranks of the youth league. I wouldn't say a lot, but I think, yes, the, the issue that we have taken measures, which are normal uh, measures that we take in terms of you know, security uh, concerns and others, when we host uh, conferences of this nature. But it's not like a special uh, arrangement for this one because we don't expect much of the, of the problem happening uh, coming from what? Because we've done extensive discussions and everybody's in agreement that uh, we need to give space and time for this conference to, to come up with a product that will uh, help the Youth League move forward. All right, so um, consultative conference taking place today and tomorrow, elected, elective conference, perhaps the middle of next year. That's the idea. The idea that's okay. that we'll, we'll have the election next year All and right. uh, hopefully that the, this space that we'll have will going to have more robust uh, debates and discussion across the issues of, the, of young people. All right, Bandile Masuku, who is the ANC Youth League's national spokesperson, talking to us here ahead of this uh, conference that starts at uh, the University of Johannesburg Soweto campus today.